Hi, beautiful. Today, we're talking about some iconic movies with iconic hair moments. Hair moments that made us who we are today. And I had to dress up kind of like a sort of movie character today. Emma thinks I look like a stripper today, so. <laughs> from Magic Mike, so I guess we'll go with that. I was thinking more like a uh, 20s like jail scene. Like I'm outside the jail cell like smoking a, cig a cigar and like, you know, ready to pick up my wife. I, Somehow got in trouble. I'm literally My just wife? Ready. Who's my wife? I'm just ready for you to literally strip on camera right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, mm -hmm. like magic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So let's take a look at my top 10 favorite movie hair moments. Let's do it. First movie up, we have Miss Cruella DeVille's hair. She's an icon of mine. She is everything I wanted to be growing up and everything I aspire to be. Can you see it? Actually, you know what? You guys kind of like I don't even remember what she acts like. Yeah, I don't even know. Cruella <laughs> I just know she was a bitch and I just want to always be a bitch. She was the creator of the split hair dye. I don't think we even realized it at the time how iconic this would be and how it would be such a thing in today's time. Um, so many people are doing split hair dye now and anytime anybody ever does like a blonde and black, people are like, you look like Cruella DeVille. This haircut also was wild. Um, I didn't realize it was always like completely up like that. I don't know why I have this memory of her hair being down in like a bob. Maybe it was the cartoon one. I don't remember being this crazy, but I'm enjoying it. I think, you know, it definitely looks like a synthetic wig, a cheap wig, and layered up with a little bit of fringe and everything else is kind of just like blown up. The hairstyles behind this look clearly had a vision and it was executed perfectly. I think it fit her character so well and brought out her kind of mean, vicious attitude through her hair. And if you can bring out the character through the hair, I think that you've accomplished a lot. So bravo to the hairdresser who did this. I think it's spectacular and such an iconic moment that we still see a lot in today's world. Up next, we have Cher from Clueless. Cher just had this really pretty hair that everybody wanted and everybody still wants. Um, she has these gorgeous blonde highlights that look like they could be her natural hair color. It's not overly done, it's not overly polished, and it's not stripey. It's this nice ash tone that's not too ashy, but it still has that natural glow to it. And it's very healthy. She was also very known for like the volume in her hair. It was never flat, it was never pinned straight. She always had this perfect blowout going on and it looked amazing with her face shape. Just that tousled texture was so sexy and still is and everybody aspires to have hair like Cher. She was an icon of style and an icon of beauty all around and she still is that and I think a lot of people pull inspiration from here when they're dressing and trying to look more 90s-esque. I think it was just a gorgeous look, super simple, but really effective to show how her character is and who they are. And so I thought it was really special. Up next, we have Breakfast at Tiffany's and we're talking about Holly, of course. So beautiful. That updo was so elegant and refined and fresh and she still looks modern. What I think is great about this look is that it's so tousled and thrown up, but it still looks very refined. It, she has this like little bang going on. I don't know if it's even supposed to be a bang, but she has like a few short pieces cut in the front kind of seem out of place, but it works with the whole look, kind of making it disheveled a little bit. But for some reason, she still looks so elegant, even though her hair is not perfectly coiffed. You know, in the early 2000s, a lot of people were doing those very slick back, like perfect updos. And we're seeing kind of more of this style where it's just thrown up, but it looks sexy and elegant at the same time. Also like this, this kind of brooch tiara thing she has going on in her hair is so pretty. Those diamonds, yes, yeah, she's giving us everything with the diamonds. Of course, she has to have the pearls to add to the whole look and finish it all off. I love like the height of the up to. I love that it's really high up on her head because it gives her kind of that princess-like feel. Um, if she did kind of something lower or like a chignon in the back of her head, it would have been more like just your average girl. This is giving you full-on princess moment. This is giving you like royal, dramatic, and it's giving us sexy all at the same time. It was so perfect for her character. She also had these highlights going on that are definitely a bit stripey. Not gonna lie, it looks like they put 
hydrogen peroxide in her hair and did not tone that shit at all. It was a little orange, a little yellow, but very trendy. She's obviously just a very, very pretty girl, so she can pretty much handle any kind of hair put on her. So I don't know if this would have looked so good on somebody else, but Holly looks amazing. The only thing I would say is I feel as though it would look a little bit better if she did have like a full on bang going on. I love this short little tiny baby bang, but now that I'm really staring at this image, it does look like it was kind of there, but kind of wasn't, or the wind was blowing or something was happening, but it's just so teeny tiny. But also who cares? I think that's the, the point is that she could have done this hair herself and that she's a character and she really isn't hiring a hairdresser to do her hair and it's supposed to be kind of disheveled, kind of imperfectly perfect. And that's exactly what we got. And it was gorgeous. Up next, we have Hairspray. We're gonna be talking about Tracy, of course. And she had this beautiful, voluminous, vivacious, sexy hair and it looked incredible. I need this hair in a wig so I can just feel like Tracy uh, because she was hot. She was killing it. She's living her best life, her extra life, that's for sure. And she definitely went through cans and cans and cans of hairspray uh, to create this look because it was voluminous, it was stuck in place, it was big, and it was everything I was looking for. So she is a beautiful curvy woman and she was wearing beautiful curvy hair. She was clearly wanting attention and with this hair, she was about to get it. This hair grabbed the attention of the audience and if you're trying to be somebody famous or whatever, you know, it's great to be out there and weird and have something that people can talk about. So I think this hair was her thing and her ticket to Hollywood. I loved it. The little bow headband was just the perfect topper to the look. The bangs right below the eyebrows that were very exaggerated and very thick were so pretty. And then she had this beautiful dark brown hair that went great with her skin tone. She had these really flicked out curled ends that I love. And she really grabbed the attention of the room and said, girl, look at me and look at this hair and look what I can do and I want to be a star and she got it she did that and I respect her for that and of course the movie is called Hairspray so you had to have crazy hair that was the focal point of the movie next we have the movie Cleopatra and we're talking about Cleopatra this movie was made in the 60s um so they didn't have all the makeup and hair tools we have now and for her hair to look this Good? Like, wow. I mean, this whole look was very avant-garde, very ahead of its time, especially the makeup. I mean, look at that makeup. It's gorgeous, everything about it. I mean, we can talk about the hair color, that super rich, dark black color was beautiful with her pale skin tone. She had this kind of choppy bob that was right on her shoulders. The beautiful braids just cascading down the side of her hair and the awesome, awesome charms on the bottom. I mean, this hair artist is just so talented. Whoever did this, like really incredible. One of the coolest parts for me, I think, are these bangs that go from like temple to temple, even farther than that. They're super exaggerated, very curved to her face shape. All around, it just created this glamorous, gorgeous look that of course was reminiscent of Cleopatra, the real woman who lived way back when. This is kind of like a modern take on Cleopatra that was presented in the 60s, so very iconic. Cleopatra was a queen and Elizabeth exudes that energy with this hairstyle, this makeup. It was all around a beautiful vision to see and she really carried the look amazingly. Up next, we have Star Wars. We have Princess Leia. I just wanna know who the took what drugs and what was going on that day because this is wild. Like I've always thought this look was very wild. Not that I don't enjoy it, I do enjoy it. Carrie had this really, really thick hair. I think that was really her actual hair. I don't think they were using extensions. I don't even know if extensions were a thing um, with <laughs> this first movie. She has a copious amount of hair on her head and it is thick. And it is wrapped up in those beautiful, <laughs> buns right on top of her ears in case her little ears get cold. It was a look. I'm sure at the time they were probably thinking like, this is weird. And of course it's supposed to be weird because it's a sci-fi movie and it wasn't supposed to be realistic per se, but it was definitely out there. It was definitely iconic. And I think if you can do a look that's really out there and really avant-garde correctly, it transcends all and everybody can visually know what that movie is just by seeing the hair. Like you could take the face out, you could take the body out and just have 
have the hair and you would know what movie it is. And that is special. Not for me, but Princess Leia looks divine. Up next, we have Goldmember and we have the character Foxy and she is looking foxy. The hair represents her name very well. Like she looked hot, sexy. Ooh, wow, she looked gorgeous. Um, This hair, oh my God, this is one of the most beautiful afros I've ever seen in my life. It is so perfectly coiffed, perfectly poofed. This blonde color looked amazing on Beyonce's skin tone. This shape, it's just so round. And Beyonce, she's so little in this movie, but she really carries this hair so well. It really made the movie extra iconic to me. She's also really powerful, in the movie and so her hair really adds to her character in showing that she's a powerful woman who's about to kick and you're almost scared of her because she's so gorgeous and the hair makes her larger than life and adds to the exaggeration of her character and gives her that presence of like I'm gonna kick your ass. I could have even asked for it to be bigger, honestly. I wouldn't be mad. Up next, we have Marie Antoinette, and we are talking about Marie Antoinette. It almost looks like they used the hair products that were available at that time to do the wig that Kirsten Dunst is wearing. I mean, it looks dusty and crusty and kind of like she's been wearing it for a month, and that is what they did. They would use like powders and all sorts of stuff to make their hair stay permanently like that for as long as possible. Like their hairdressers only came, I think it was like one once a month or less than that, and they wore their hair like this for days on end. It seems very uncomfortable, not a fan, but it's beautiful in its own way. And the flowers, this kind of nest of a wig, it gave it a sort of elegance that wouldn't, I don't think, be there unless they kind of added those flowers. You know, if you really look at the hair alone, it's kind of like a little dingy. There's absolutely no shine to it. It was definitely a situation where you, when you walk in a room, like you want people to stare at you and the higher the hair the better that's how it seemed in those times so the hairdresser in this movie did a phenomenal job at recreating a look that would have been present at that time period it's definitely a queen's hair by looking at this picture you can tell that they didn't use curling irons to make this hair which i think is just really cool that the hairdresser really did their research when doing the hair for this character and it shows flawlessly executed it really adds to the whole movie when you have hair hair that actually would work in that time period and um, is recreated flawlessly. It just makes everything more glamorous and beautiful and perfect. I would have loved to see how they did this behind the scenes because it is beautiful. It's perfect. Up next, we have Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and we're talking about Mr. Willy Wonka. This hair was so whimsical and fun and that's exactly the character of Willy Wonka. It was so out of the ordinary and weird. Imagine him with like a buzz cut or like just regular hair. He wouldn't have seemed as weird. So I think the hair actually added to his weird character and made him even more kind of strange and mysterious. He looks like he almost has like a blowout going on and it's a little bob at his chin with his little baby bangs that you sometimes saw that were hidden under his hat. It was just very funny and goofy. I think it just made him look even crazier than if he didn't have that hair. And I, I love the fact that he had that very large oversized hat on with the perfect little coiffed bob. The cut also made him look a little more youthful in a way. I mean, first of all, it was so thick, so perfect, so shiny. And he had this little like boy bang, little girl cut going on. He was grasping onto his youth, which he kind of was. So it was a cool mixture between goofy and funny and um, weird and creepy and all that stuff was all mixed into one hairstyle and they ended up with this cute little bob. Lastly, we have Hunger Games. Uh, we're talking about Ellie Trinket and this is my favorite of this whole video. I want to be Ellie, guys. If I were any character in this whole video, it would be Ellie. Are you kidding me? me with this Alexander McQueen butterfly ensemble she has going on that is also incorporated into her hair. I mean, every look she had was just like, yes, 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 extra, too much, like way over the top and really exciting. She had this gorgeous, like over the top wig. And if you look really closely, she has like a tiny little bang in the middle and there's a beautiful wavy hair with these butterflies to top it all off. <laughs> Even her makeup has butterflies in it. Like so, so extra and somehow it all works. The actress that plays her almost can't totally carry off the look, which I think makes it funnier because Ellie was kind of 
like this crazy woman and she was clearly like just too much. She had like way too much money that she didn't know what to do with. So she ended up spending it on hair and makeup and wardrobe and everything she didn't need. And it shows because it is extra, extra, extra. And it's everything that I want to be. So those are my top 10 favorite hair looks from a bunch of different movies. There are so many more. I could do this for days. They're all so special in so many different ways. And all these hairdressers are such creative geniuses. Movies are really dope. People put so much energy and time into them and it shows. And when they're done well, they're done really well. And when you, the hair is done well, it adds to the character. It gives them a sort of presence and places them in a time period. And it just makes the movie that much more special. If you guys are not already subscribed, Subscribe, make sure you do right down below. Hit the like button and the bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video. If you guys like to text me, this is my number. Yes, that's really my number. And yes, it really is connected to my phone. And yes, I can see some of your messages. So text me now and I'll be replying to a few of you guys. This will also keep you notified every time I post a new video. If you guys would like to check out my hair care line and my color line, you can do so now at xmodohair.com is linked below for you. You can also get some hair inspiration on our Instagrams at xmodohair and at xmodocolor. Check out my Live Your Extra Life merch here it all is it's so freaking cute i wear it all the time it is so damn comfy and you can shop it now at xmodohair.com here are all my social media handles all around me there they all are follow me everywhere else i'm literally everywhere all the time today's instagram shout out goes to Haley, and this says hi brad i watch you on youtube and love your hair videos thank you i don't know if you'll see this but i just wanted to know what you would do to my hair color cut etc i want to go blonde and cut it like five inches Ooh. Yes, oh my god, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. I want to see your hair shorter so bad. It's long, it's beautiful. I think even to like here, some layering added in. It's a little heavy and then going nice and bright blonde, I think would look so good on you. If you end up doing it, I would love to see it and good luck. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.